Oh boy, good evening ladies and gentlemen. It's going to get feisty in a few, about half an hour time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my WWE 2K20 Universe Mode. This time, including some of the RRF1 guys who do tune in regularly. This is going to be epic. We have ourselves our match card coming up in a few minutes, but first of all, I'm going to show you the championship situation. Um, edit division, so we've got cruiserweights battles between... Um, Tazawa, Gulak, they're kind of the main event here, so to speak. In that side, that title, and look at this, guys. I'm going to be calling someone out as well in this stream, that's a spoiler for you. But at the moment, all oh, pretty much, this is going to be epic, guys, just wait and see. Let's go start the show. Oh, I can't watch it on my tablet, kidding me. This is going to be epic, lads. Wait, you see this match card? It's looking epic. The fuck was it showing me live? Idiot. Oh, fuck's sake. Twitch is fucking my tablet. Guys, I'll let you know. Most of the RF1 admin are in this. Here tonight. It is the most high octane oh, I've just fucking done this. Come on. Oh, it is. Ladies and the are set. We are it is yep, there's more than just cruiserweights here, guys. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we start off with a fucking look at these matches, guys. We've got Maka versus Jay Lodeman. Okay, let's have a sit. We've got a few good singles matches, too. And Drew Gullick and Tony Nice. That's an interesting tag team. These guys used to be a team themselves, actually, fun enough, before Gulak turned on Nice. I think it was the other one, actually. Shane. RF1 Twisted, Dark Mark, and King Chris makes his debut. His debut in the series. Look at this, guys. And this is a corker. Our main event match is Ryan versus Bish. And you got me <clears throat> calling someone out before the pay per view. Let's go and turn all the entrances on. This is going to be fucking brilliant, guys. Be sure to stay tuned the entire way through. If I do have any glitches on Twitch, I'll be keeping this shit going. Maka versus Loadman. <coughs> Mind of Lurk. So I guess that's another one of them Lurker channels that kind of propel you into the stratosphere if, someone, if they decide to. Loadman versus Maka. Guys have obviously given me permission to use their names, of course. Um, so here we go. We saw Loadman dismantle Ryan in the end last week. <coughs> and Macker, of course, was involved his own match in 205 Live last week. I believe, wasn't he? Or was that week one? I thought Macker had been in the match already. Macker? Sure, I've seen him in. Yep, uh, Stocky uh, beat Maka to become the number one contender to the RF1 Championship, which of course is held by me, but I don't think it's going to be held for long. Here we go, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Here's Maka. is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring oh boy from dudley england weighing in at 200 dudley pounds. Yeah. given the participants this match might very well steal the show guys yeah and i think you could go so far as to Mac say was in a cracking match with stocky last week stocky just got better of him in the end oh guys it's gonna be epic you guys can let Shane know. We're rolling, guys, if you can. He said he wanted us to let him know that we're going. No jockey this week, of course. Even though he picked up a win in the triple threat. Surprised why he's not in the in the show. Or a jockey you're watching, mate. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hashtag PMS in the comments, motherfuckers. Let's feel the heat. Let's feel the heat. Come on. I was going to crack open two more beer for this shit. 
And if this is a quick show, I may even drop a quick cricket stream as well tonight. I don't think I'll be able to, but... Byron, he certainly seems to be showing the, more pride of late, wouldn't you say? We've got, I think, Michael, two more matches, and I'll be able to do a whole match no per stream on cricket. Backstage about that pride, possibly bordering on arrogance. Guilty. All the bosses are fire. Yeah. Hopefully got some music for you there, guys. I'm not sure if it did or not, but I tried. Oh, God. Oh, boy. The hottest commodity in 205 Live R form right now. Oh. Oh. Even creepier entrance than the fiend does because he's actually a person doing this. He looks possessed, Loban. Loban looking absolutely possessed. Thank you for watching this evening, guys. Yeah. Does look creepy, doesn't he? Hey, Chris, just just saying up watching this, mate. You're in the fifth match along with Shane, Ryan and Bish are in the show's main event. <clears throat> but Maka is... Yeah, Ryan says Maka's... Yeah. And oh, boy. From London, England. That's what he did to you. I think Scartrix, funnily enough, just appeared online. We have one on one action on the way, and this one should be nothing no short fucking of hell. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go and seeing so a real person do the fiend's entrance is more creepy than seeing the fiend doing it. It's like he's killed the fiend. Yeah, Ryan felt the experience firsthand. Did really well, nearly hit the switch in music. <laughs> he's, oh, look at these. Just, it's like he's fighting with his own conscience, but without being the fiend. Yeah, Chris, you have to watch the previous 205 episode. It was a CPD Derpy. Thank you very much for watching again, buddy. Welcome back in. You are witnessing potentially the most dangerous superstar in the entire roster right now. In fact, I don't remember the last time I saw him in better shape than he's in right now. Seriously, Chris, as Chris, you see there with a the number one, guys. He's the number one cheer on my channel. It's really weird. Well, Maka grabbed the surprise win. He's more than capable. Look at the eyes, man. Ooh. Loman is a surefire future WWE champion. Remember the way I do it. If you win this title, you move up to NXT. Oh, Loman just... You don't really want to get on the wrong side of Loman right now. Here we go. Gonna get some chain wrestling. Just, oh, Loman just... Jesus. Man, this card is just packed Ryan tapped out wide in the first week, of course. And Loman come along and just absolutely... Bulled. Oh, Maka. Maka, nice. Start off some chain wrestling here. Oh, Loman just gets out of it straight away. Met in the middle. Jesus. Loman just forces him right the way across the ring here. Making some more characters, guys, soon. That'll be... Oh, Maka with a great counter. On a run, but he didn't even move him off his feet. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus. Oh, my God. What the hell's he doing here? Oh. Jesus. Oh, my God. Maka. Oh, great counter. We oh, missed that drop kick this time. Well, man. What's he doing here? No, there's no reverse in this. Pump handle. Oh, sorry, the pump handle drop. Just dumped him. He got out of the 
Oh, we're looking incredible right now. Oh, he's, oh my god. It's not getting the job done, but one. <clears throat> Elbow Absolutely. Cole just finishes setting stuff off. Roman is just destroying Maka. Right to the gut. Oof, that's the gut. Right now. Jesus, man. Fucking hell. Who will ever knock off King Chris as the number one donator I mean, to my channel? He's well up there at the now. moment. <coughs> the deck, oh my Jesus. <coughs> Loma, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Mac accounted. He's in full control now. Some fight in the young cruiser right here. Oh. <coughs> Mac has got some fight in him here. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Ooh. This could be big. Maka. Rattling the spine there. He's got Randy Orton move set, so he's got some fight Maka in him. He's in control. <laughs> The suplex. Loman goes to the outside. Surprised to see. Whoa, he rolls straight out, out but. but uh, guys, guys, I, I, I know. You got seriously. Oh, he's, yeah, that was a bit of Ring of Ring of Roses there. Oh I guess he's doing pretty well so far. He's fighting his own corner here. Back in from the floor. Oh, no, Loma puts him in the ring. Uh oh. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oh, that puts the back of him. Uh oh. Oh, fucks him across the ring like a ragdoll. Mac has been pummeled. This is ugly to watch. One. Mac kicks out. He's still got a fight in him. Loman's got to watch out here. What's he doing now? Suplex. It just fucks him across the ring again. Mac being tossed around like Oh, oh. Oh, no. Whoa, Mac. Intelligent move there. Gets out of dodge. A low man. Straight back on him. Absolute monster. He's not getting out of the ring this time. Oh no. Oh, Malibu Claw. Malibu Claw, it's over. It's got to be over. It's got to be over. He's done it. Oh my god. Who the fuck is going to stop this cunt? Just like that. The most dangerous man in WWE. He shakes his hand, but and that's a great show of respect. yeah, Tremendous sportsmanship. of course, Maka, these guys are all faces, so Maka knows exactly what he's got himself in for there. We have ourselves a little bit of an intermission, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some cruiserweight action, of course, but be sure, guys, be sure to stay tuned. Maka f fucking Loman is fucking do against that. What can you do against that? That was the biggest squash, I think, in the entire series. Bigger than Ember, almost as big, well, yeah, bigger than Ember Moon and Liv Morgan. Sin Cara. I fly a match that come up here to Zawa. <clears throat> so exciting to see the yeah, Ryan lasted a bit longer than that. Power of Tozawa. Sounds like a fucking brother from my Final Fantasy X stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris in the admin chat. Guys, get Loadman to watch that match. You guys can just let him know. His WWE character is the best I've created. No one better than him. We go for a cigarette, guys, in the moment. But you watch this. We go for a cig during the third match. I prefer Sin Cara's first entrance music. Get that trampoline on there, mate. Give over. Of course, this is Unico. One of the most 
Nicely. Right, now we're on Cruiserweight, guys. Be sure to keep the chat going, folks. I'm just going to put my tablet on charge for the remaining three matches. <coughs> Tozawa versus Sin Cara. So I want to chop there and Sin Cara get himself started off straight away. And I can't help but get the feeling this is going to be one well, of drop the to the back of Singara. For Former number one contender to the United States oh, Championship back in the day. Oh. That was, of course, back in the day. One of the hottest oh, signings ever in WWE to flop, in my opinion, Singara. He just botches. Nine views, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Play We've got a one. Yeah, we haven't got a one. <laughs> guys after match four you've got Shane Chris and Dark Mark got Ryan Bish in a crunch match and then me in a promo who am I going to call out for the championship match we one of any of you 20 what is that with the right hand there focusing for the moment on the 205 live division oh, oh. if I do have to head off guys I'll need to put the little one back to bed is that what Until the ropes goes soon kind of oh, kicking at him Oh, baseball slide. And a hurricane runner to Sauer's looking brutal right now. But we just witnessed Loman decapitate someone and it's just a little unsettled. Running Bulldog. Sauer's a man possessed here. Sinkar finally changes the momentum a little bit here. Spanish fly. One of my favourite moves in the whole of wrestling. Is that what? Oh, kick by Sinkara, kick again. That's a third kick and it sweeps his leg out from under him here. Standing coup de grat. Oh, oh, what a crucifix drop. That's a pin, okay. Did he get one? Yes, he does. Okay. Let's give Tazawa some more momentum. That's not what Sinkara needs. Oh, a kick there. Very difficult position to be in right now. He's not going to get him. He's going to be able to get him all the way over there. He pulls the snake eyes. Nice by seeing Kata. Himself in the match. So a great counter. This is only looking like he's going one way. This. Go kick to the gut. Some kind of great counter though. Another like Spanish fly. I love cruiserweights, man. Oh, what a standing insecurity. Zara rolls out of the ring there. You can feel the Necessarily so. Oh, Tazawa's around. Oh, a chop at Tazawa. What a running. That was like a Claymore kick. He's taking his fucking head clean off. Rolls him over towards the opposite corner. <coughs> Picks him up. Is he going to be bowling into the ring apron here? Oh. <coughs> Into the ring in the ring post. Oh my fucking god! Kicked his head clean off. This is how we're doing here. Suplex. Is he going to end in double count out? Oh, struck it to the head. This is how he needs to get back in the ring in a minute. So does he get back in? Is he going to go back out the ring to keep the match going? No, is the answer to Zawa's won the match. Smart by Akira to Zawa. Didn't need to exert any energy. Let's look back at the power Dominant victory there. Sinkara back to the drawing board. A lot of um, double count out, a lot of count outs are glitches. I don't think that was a glitch. He just beat him up enough to fucking keep him outside the ring. <coughs> nice quick match. And calls a 10. Sinkara is fucked on the outside. Here to Zawa. He's going for that number one contention. Guys, anybody who's in the chat, like I said, mods, just keep more entertainment. I'll be back with you in two just after the fourth match. Does Tazawa actually want a match in this series yet? Let's have a look. Let's go for a live week two. No, we got done beginning, in folks. by a run-in, of course. Great action. 
Oh, how's aggression? He's disrespectful. Sinkara, of course, is a pure face. So, in the first week, he got beat by Gentleman Jack Gallagher and beat Carrillo. So, mixed emotions for Tozawa. That's his second win out of three. And speaking of Gentleman Jack Gallagher, won his first matchup of the series against the aforementioned Tozawa. Brian Kendrick got beat by Gulak and then hasn't had a match since. So, unbeaten versus winless. Here we go. Finally, we get some class. Mm. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Manchester. I've one of the most entertaining Rumble appearances in the, pre in the past three or four years. Big Gallagher back in, I think it was 2017, wasn't it? 17 or 18. He had a brilliant rumble of pits. We used the umbrella and just like low blow Jericho and then spun it around in front of him. That was brilliant. Some of the excruciating holds he employs seem downright ungentlemanly. What could be more gentlemanly than fighting valiantly and doing everything you can to win? I tip my hat to Jack Gallagher. Uh, Brian Kendrick signed there. He frowned though. That was quite interesting to see. See Gallagher, Gallagher needs to get himself back into the Cruiserweight the Championship moment. picture. Of course, the, the way that 205 Live works is the if they win the championship, Universe. they stay in the division, the loser of the title, they, they, but they will be moved up to NXT Gallagher. as well into the North American division. So it's going to be pretty stacked. I'm a man with the plan. The, man with the, plan. the RF1 division will always be stocked up with characters, by the way, guys. Mr. Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick. A man, ironically, who won the WWE Championship in a, in a what match was it? Championship scramble match. He did pin Jeff Hardy, I think it was, back in 2008. Just a matter of time before Kendrick executes. Technically, is a double. Oh, we've got ten viewers. Fuck it, ten viewers. Why am I on fucking charge when I can't see who's watching? For fuck's sake. Guys, all of you are here. Thank you so much. If there's been any donations, any follows, I don't know if there has been, but thank you so much for tuning in. Gentleman Jack Gallagher, Brian Kendrick, let's go. Oh, he's already got him in the snap there takeover. And a kick to the back immediately. Oh, Kendrick's booting him out of the face. And a kick to the back. Oh my god, I was bullying him there. Oh, this, what a headbutt. Straight up headbutt, of course, the guy who trained with Daniel Bryan. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell was that? Holy piss flaps. What the fuck? Seriously. Oh, drill DDT there by Kendrick. Looking pretty good so far. He can't allow himself to let Gallagher has more momentum because he's kicked out a few times. Oh, dropped to a hold. Gallagher now will take momentum, you'd imagine. Where the hell's he going here? Oh, he looks like a fucking idiot right now. Oof. Then he just follows him out there and kicks the crap into him on the outside. Oof. Oof. Shit, that was nasty. Don't yeah, shoot, but nasty. Oh, draws him into the ring. Oh, kick. I heard, watch the Mr. Chop. Rolls him back over the far side of the ring to the far corner. Gallagher gets himself back in the ring here. Hops over the top rope and he's got his bollocks stuck on the ropes. Yeah, that, that's not ideal, mate. Oh. Gallagher, is he going to get back in? He does. So we continue the fight in the ring. Oh, oh straight away. Oh, he's nailing Kendrick. It's a very even match so far. Kendrick. Gallagher's actually been pummeled in this match compared to Kendrick. Oh, I say that and then a straight up drop kick. Pure drop kick, that. Oh, Ooh, European uppercut. Oh, Kendrick kicked to the gut, the wily veteran. The former Stampy, if you remember. <laughs> Before he became his actual name, Brian Kendrick. 
You thought he'd come in as the person who tried to give Undertaker a present. Like, seriously. How far he's come. He's fighting him. Oh, Jack Gallagher. Fist in the face. Very, very fun match. It. Whoa, what a DDT. That was a DDT. Fucking hell, he took his chin out. Crying my life. Ooh, Gallagher. Oh my god. Very unique offense by Jack Gallagher. Kind of lost his momentum in the cruiserweight division. For gut punches here. Oh, straight to the face. Oh, and a chop. He's got it all his own way here. Up to the back. No, it wasn't. It was a European uppercut to the back. Oh. Oh, Kendrick with a nice reversal. The momentum switched as well. Oh, my God. Just leathered him right in the face. What's he doing here? That is a, a camel clutch. Yeah, that's not going to get the job done here. Kala gets out of it. Oh, oh. I should go either way right now. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Gallagher, but you never know in this game. Oh. 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 Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, of course it was a stung one. That's what Austin does, doesn't it? It did, of course. Didn't really do it much now. Hendrick dodges the chop. And a Northern Light suplex. Didn't go for the pin, though. It was just the actual suplex itself. 13 viewers, guys, for the love of Christ. Thank you so much for watching. My biggest WWE stream yet. Kendrick versus Gallagher. What's he gonna do with it? Oh, here we go. He's gone into a torture acquisition here. Oh, that's a snowplow. Reverse snowplow there. Huge matchup here now, but we do have the RF1 guys coming into play later in the episode, of course. This may be what the... Oh, oh elbow by Jack Gallagher. Oh, what a drill. That's a European uppercut there. By Gallagher, I can say European because he's fucking... Well, he's not technically European. That's a non-EU uppercut. There you go. Fantastic. Much love. Hendrick, he's putting him onto the top rope. This is where the cruiserweights make their name, of course. These guys have... Oh, what's, what's he doing? Hendrick. Hendrick. Oi, Hurricane Rana. Throws him halfway across the ring. Hendrick, here we go. Oh, he's reversed it. Balls him over the ring. Over the rope, sorry. Oh, and smacks him to the outside. And here we go. Here comes a fucking count out for you. Is it me stopping count outs? Oh, 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 Kendrick. Balls him back in the ring. He has one mission in mind as Brian, and that is to win this matchup, which is obviously why he's in the match. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's just nutted him. Oh, that might be it. He's knocked him cold. One. Dude. Oh my god, well, not quite cold, but he's, he's not been chilled. Okay. I'll be back on the comments, guys. Make sure you guys all stick tuned. stay tuned. Get yourself in the chat. Get yourself talking. Uh, really? What are you doing? You fucking idiot. Yeah, Gallagher's going to nail him here. Running crossbody. Uh, that was stupid by... Kendrick, oh, kick. Forearm. Rock kick. Gallagher's looking good. Gentleman Jack Gallagher in front of my biggest audience. Oh, Kendrick. What's he doing here? He's got up for the suplex. Oh, front facing Falcon Arrow. Oh, ready drop kick there. This guy's just mashed go either way. First one to get a finish here, I imagine, will be the winner. And Kendrick, that's not going to get... Oh, he's going to go for a kick there. Oh, Jesus. Gut kick. Gut kick. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's he doing? He's got it. He's got it. Road break, but he's got a road break. He didn't... Ma he wasn't... Ma oh, he's going to go for a pin, though. He's still got the pin. Here we go. One. Two. And he got the pin anyway. Brian Kendrick wins. He beats gentleman Jack Gallagher. I've got the match result wrong. Let's okay. Back on the action from the last match. <clears throat> this one I got wrong so far. Was the only one. Yeah. Did I get the other two wrong? Could I? Um. <clears throat> Gentleman Jack Gallagher. 13 views, guys. Much love all yet. We've got a tag match, which is probably going to. What made you say that last time? Lucha House Party had a tag match. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Lasted a while, but 
and we've got ourselves a triple threat a main event which everybody is tuning in for Ryan versus Bish these two have been calling each other pricks and cunts <laughs> for weeks and months it'll now be settled in the ring but then Shane King Chris and Dark Mark here we go guys right if um you see my stream go down just stick on the channel please if you can i'm gonna be going for a quick smoke folks right during this intro i'm gonna be coming on to chat as well from here from here on out the tablet will probably die before the promo at the end but I'm not going to leave you guys in the dark any longer. I want to have a chat with all of you. Um, so hello to all the new viewers if there is any. If not, welcome back everyone. Back in two minutes. It's a Lucha House Party! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Grand Metalik, at a combined weight of 336 pounds, Lince Dorado and Kalisto Lucha House Party. Lucha House Party are always up for having a good time. Look, look, there's Penelope, and they have some noisemakers.